This is so heavy. Hello everyone, I'm Marina and it's a Grammel School. It's time for your favorite unboxing videos. Today I'm going to review this huge thing. What do you think it is? But I'm sure you have already read the description. So you know that it is a hot air sterilizer that we'll be unboxing today. In this particular video, I'm not going to dwell on why it's crucial to sterilize manicure tools properly. There are tons of information online. Sure, there are unacceptable methods of disinfection for manicure tools, but I have already mentioned them in some of my previous videos and you can always check them out on my channel. Today, we will be focusing on proper sterilization techniques. I'm sure you have noticed that we're filming this at our new studio and pretty soon there is going to be a room tour where I will show you around this place to see every nook and cranny. I wanted to have a separate zone for sterilizing manicure tools. And this is not the area where this thing is going to end up staying, since I'm pretty sure that I'm going to play around with this space. But I really wanted to get fancy equipment for my new studio that will fit with the aesthetic. I have chosen a hot air sterilizer by Ferroplast. Mine is Premium 10. Let's unbox it. But I'm going to need some help, since it's pretty heavy. But we should take it out of the box. We haven't reached the actual product yet, since there is a bunch of instructions. But I think we should take a quick look at them first, since I'm pretty sure you've got questions at this point. It is a certified medical device, as you can see by this bunch of papers. This one is suitable for nail salons, at-home use, and even medical institutions. This particular hot air sterilizer is going to work out for any kind of inspection, since there are all the necessary papers and certificates included. Once there used to be only one brand of hot air sterilizer that every nail technician had. And at that time, it was the only one that could satisfy all the safety criteria. But nowadays, this brand also makes sure that their products meet all the requirements. Now let's take a closer look. It definitely looks on point. I've already taken tons of pictures of me hugging it since I'm in love. It is pitch black, just like these elements of my interior. So the moment I laid my eyes on this sterilizer, I knew that it was the one for me. There are people who care about technical characteristics, and there are visuals who care about the aesthetic the most. And since I'm more of a visual, it's a crucial aspect for me. Besides, I love that it's rather compact, so it will fit in pretty much everywhere, and it will look great. There is also a free service option available, so you can ask for a service worker to set it up to secure the guarantee of your equipment. It has got a touchscreen which is super convenient, and there are 160, 180, 120 and 85 degrees options. There are four sterilization modes, as well as 85 degree drying mode that takes only 45 minutes. Besides, there is no need to air dry the manicure tools afterwards. This particular device comes with five shelves, while that previous one had only two shelves, which was super inconvenient. This one provides enough space so as not to put the craft bags with instruments on top of each other. In fact, we are supposed to leave some space between them. And here we've got five shelves that can fit up to 20 craft bags. Depending on their size, of course, as for tiny ones with drill bits, it can fit a lot of them. But it won't fit too many pedicure tools that come in bigger bags. There is also a delayed start option, like the one in washing machines. It's just the same function, so we can delay the sterilization process. Which is great since I know that many people hate the smell that accompanies it and try to avoid it in their nail salons. So those can use the delayed start option and leave it overnight. Here's the thing. We are supposed to sterilize our manicure tools at 180 degrees for about an hour. But we also wait for the sterilizer to heat up and cool down. 
so we can't say that the sterilization process takes one hour. With each of these steps included, it's going to take more time. At our nail art school, we switched from hot air sterilizers to autoclaves, since those work way faster and that constant steam exposure keeps the manicure tools sharp. But there's a minus. Autoclaves are quite expensive, so not every nail tech can afford them. But this guy is affordable. I know that many beginner nail technicians may find it too expensive to buy at this point. But when it comes to our own health and our clients' safety, top quality equipment is worth spending money on. Using cheaper Chinese alternatives of poor quality trying to save up some money, we risk having poorly sterilized manicure tools as a result. And in no way those can be considered absolutely safe or sterile. That's why it's so important to choose proper equipment for sterilization as a nail technician. At this point, some of you may argue that there are many decent tools that are cheaper. You know, it may be an excuse for beginners, but when it comes to professional nail technicians, please make sure that you have all the necessary equipment. Mind that being a professional nail technician presupposes investment and involvement. It is not that kind of thing that you can just start doing with no tools. First things first, we should splurge on some proper equipment and materials, so as not to risk our health in the first place. Just a few more common questions. Number one, is it actually safe to use glass beads to sterilize manicure tools? Such sterilizers are used for the tools that have no pool ends or cavities, which is definitely not our case. Those glass beads that are sold in nail supply stores are not professional and can't provide the right temperature. Besides, since we can't put our tools into craft bags, there is no way to prove that the tools we are using are sterile in case of inspection. That's why we use craft bags to sterilize our tools. For hot air sterilizers and autoclaves, we can use regular craft paper bags or those that are film fronted. Both options will be perfect for this one. Another common question is whether beginner nail technicians can sterilize their tools by putting them into boiling water or by putting their craft bags into an oven. Let's be realistic about this one. If we call ourselves professional nail technicians, then using an oven like that is unacceptable, since we all know that we are supposed to use it for cooking and not for sterilization purposes. That's it for the question section. If you have a question, please let me know in the comments below. And now let's finally give it a try. I have put my disinfected tools onto this stand that I recently got from a marketplace and have been using ever since. Now we need to put them into craft paper bags. At this point, make sure that every tool is open, including nippers. None of them should be closed. I put all of my manicure tools into craft paper bags. To disinfect them, I use disinfectant liquid, and there is a set exposure time for each one. Rinsing our tools with water is not enough. We need disinfection. And for this, we can put them into a plastic container filled with liquid. Or even use an ultrasonic cleaning bath for deep cleaning and disinfection. Again, we can use film-fronted bags for this particular hot air sterilizer, like the ones that I'm using, or regular paper ones. But I heard that film-fronted ones smell. So I'm going to use them to check how hermetic this particular hot air sterilizer is. We are supposed to write a sterilization date on the bags, but I'm going to skip this part to speed up. Just know that we are supposed to keep a sterilization journal. Actually, I could film a detailed video on this topic, so please give this one a big thumbs up if you are interested in this and I'm going to film a detailed sterilization guide. Now, I fill these tiny bags with drill bits, and I love making such individual kits that feature all the drill bits necessary for removal and the manicure itself. We can also put them into a bigger bag together with a cutting tool. 
If you wish, you can serialize various drill bit types separately if you have a lot of clients. Done with the packaging. Now let's put these bags into the sterilizer and make sure that they don't overlap. It's time to send them in. I slightly pull the shelf out for convenience. Again, they should not overlap. If we do it right, this indicator will turn from light blue to beige. There is also a smart lock system to ensure that this thing remains closed. I chose a 60-minute mode at 180 degrees. We can also use a 160-degree mode, but it will take 150 minutes. So I'm gonna go with a faster option. It's actually my first time running it. This indicator turned red, meaning that this thing is heating up. I'm sure it's going to change when the process starts. Thus, we'll be sure that the sterilization cycle is complete. To be honest, our autoclave makes more noise than this device. And for those who care about the state of mind of their clients, it's going to be another perk. Overall, this new sterilizer makes me blissfully happy. From now on, it's going to be my new little helper for sterilizing manicure tools. So what's left to say? Always make sure to sterilize your manicure tools properly and don't forget to check out my previous videos. Wishing you all health and wellness. Bye-bye!